What do you prefer? A fantastic strawberry tart or just a basic one? The one we are going to make today is a tart entremet, which is basically a tart cake. Let's celebrate strawberry today. So, what you've got here? Pâte sucrée, sugar dough, baked with almond cream and strawberry, then topped with a soft strawberry jelly and decorated with vanilla ganache montée chantilly. Ouh là là! Et plus de fraises! I mean, talking about celebrating summer, right? This is the one. <laughs> Hey, I am Bruno Albuz. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. Let's get to work. I'm gonna make a soft strawberry jelly. This will be placed on top of the pie. So I'm gonna heat up a strawberry or raspberry puree, add sugar and pectin mixed together, and throw in the strawberry halves, lime zest, and lemon juice. Bring to a boil and cook for two minutes. By the way, I'm gonna use gelatin powder today. When you make it, make a large amount. It lasts forever in a refrigerator. Remove a strawberry mixture from the heat and add the gelatin. Mold out using a tart ring that is about an inch smaller than the pie and freeze for a few hours. Next in the agenda, vanilla ganache montée, aka an upgraded chantilly that never collapse. Make a day ahead. Mix white chocolate with half of the hot heavy cream and vanilla. Add the gelatin and remaining chilled cream. And chill it overnight. To follow, almond cream. First, process soft butter with vanilla, sugar, and almond meal, and add a dash of starch. Add the eggs, done. So, for this tart entremet, I'm using a sugar dough tart shell. Speaking of which, you learn everything you need to know about pies and tarts in my Pastry Fundamentals course. Stay tuned. Next, I'm gonna blind bake the tart shell for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Then I'm gonna pipe out the almond cream and add a few strawberries on top, just for fun. And bake again for 35 minutes. Do you know how to get this glossy and brown finish on your tart shell? Just egg wash it halfway through. This is what some crazy pastry chefs do to make things look prettier than it used to be. Next, Chantilly. I'm gonna dump this here and whip it to medium firm picks. So the return investment you've got using a ganache monté is that, as said earlier, your Chantilly won't collapse thanks to the white chocolate and the gelatin. Such a great improvement for most pastries, especially when Chantilly is directly exposed to the air. Now the fun. Top chill the pie with a thin layer of Chantilly. Add soft strawberry jelly and simply decorate with some sweet and flavorful strawberries and Chantilly rosette. Once finished, refrigerate this beauty for a couple of hours, making sure the center is completely thawed. Patience and hard work pays off. I hope, guys, you have enjoyed this quite amazing strawberry tart entremet episode. To get the full recipe, go to my website, brunoalbouz.com. Indeed, you'll find great promotions on my premium recipes and masterclass. And don't forget to subscribe to my website and cooking channel. Thank you again for your support. You see, it's not complicated. You can make it. So try this out, take a peek, and tag me on Instagram at Bruno Albuz. Thank you again for watching, and see you soon.